joins us now with more. What do you have to say? Andy, the owner of Scooby, says he doesn't want to take legal action against the person responsible. He just wants help paying for the medical bills and wants to know what happened. Hey, what's going on, you survivor? One-year-old Scooby is alert and walking around. Oh, it's so good to see you. His owner, Andrew Worrell, found him shot with a crossbow bolt. It went completely through the animal. So, yeah, and the thing was, if, if it had gone this way or the back, to me, that's a hunting accident or a mistake. But Worrell says no permits were issued to hunt on his property or the area surrounding it. He says Scooby was just doing what dogs do naturally. My dog went to see whoever was next to my property, which is fairly close, which he does all the time. He's a survivor, this one. Doctors say the arrow punctured Scooby's lung and given the level of trauma, it was amazing Scooby survived. When he came in, there was a lot of free gas in his chest, and it was really remarkable that he actually walked in the door with the level of his injuries. It came out like right here somewhere. Worrell wasn't prepared to pay for those injuries. I'm not a venge vengeful person at all. Um, I would like to know what happened. Um, I would like some help with my vet bills because this is really pushing me back. Wara hopes police can find the person responsible for hurting Scooby. You're gonna come home soon, buddy. You're coming home soon, okay? Who, despite his injuries, I'll take you home in a minute, continues to put a smile on people's faces. We spoke to Jasper County investigators. They're working with the DNR and say the person responsible could be charged with trespassing. So far, Andrew says the vet bills add up to $7,000. Oh, no. I hope he gets some help paying for that. Um, and how forgiving is that, that he says he doesn't want to press any charges, he just wants to know what happened? Right. There's a GoFundMe page uh, linked at whotv.com where if you want to help, you can. Okay. Thanks a lot, Jared. Yeah, the Division of Criminal Investigation released